so we keep plan to keep this free throughout for all the users because we feel that lifestyle and health is something which is a right to every user it stands to create that awareness about preventive health we want to create an ecosystem where we can actually prevent a lot of things which can be prevented and we want to be that torch bearer for that for the uh, next generation of people or even i would say for the current generation also and we had to take some hard calls where we, we had to put like 40000 people on our wait list because people were coming in they wanted to use uh, the the app in their own way but we never wanted them to do it so we had to put a hard stop for uh, to these people getting the right people on board and you know uh, the right people honestly their degrees right their experiences uh, a lot of things do not matter you know uh, at the end it's just the vision and and the 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 whole team environment and the how, how the work is actually that matters market I, yes maybe market yes, <laughs> yes yeah. market yes maybe but no not sure but about then, the funding part i mean <laughs> yeah we have views on shark tank but anyways <laughs> let, let's skip that i guess <laughs>
when you put but to to any kind of things which they say people might not consume it or they may, i don't know why they don't say it also so here what we want to do is we want this kind of information to go out to people so that okay even if you're consuming content on our platform even if the com- information is not 100% right we can actually tell you that okay maybe the someone says that the same content comes on our platform but there will be people on our platform who would be uh, in a way authenticizing this kind of con- being a content which is being put out now who would do it there will be health experts and doctors who we are tie up with now this would give the user the end user more information which can help them take right calls at the right time but how do you ensure that the health experts that you are tied up with are absolutely uh, you know uh, authentic especially because there are a lot of perspectives also uh, you know uh, someone says keto is good and someone says intermittent fasting is you know good some for some people keto works for some people intermittent fasting you know works so how are you maintaining the authenticity so like what happens is when uh, we try to keep our neutral ground here uh, so uh, we do not take sides here so we validate whatever information is coming there we are just saying that okay if someone says that keto diet is good for this then we would we would only validate that information that is what we want to do and even the people or the dietitians or the health experts or the doctors we tie up with we are telling them to validate just that information like so there might be sides like i'm not saying that ki uh, uh, there will be like keto is bad or intermittent fasting is better i don't know i am not a health expert or a doctor to say or comment on that but there are people who have the educational bag or they have the uh, knowledge to do it and that's where these people can help be the better guide for them and those people would only validate the information being provided now it's up to the user that we give them okay if this is what you want to go ahead with we have the action items also for it but these are also curated by people who are like health experts and doctors who will you which will provide you a much better and guided path than maybe you just viewing a content by let's say some influencer or something on google or some other platform and just to add on right so what danny is actually suggesting uh, in terms of uh, you know uh, what works out for someone does not work out for any other person uh, a health expert actually requires a lot of data and you know in terms of he only can suggest something which is very specific to a user or a group of users so how we approach the users on our platform or the, how the platform is built is through these multiple different areas of you know health which are already there and after that we've got these groups of users which actually define various you know uh, sort of uh, uh, their uh, uh, their statistics and what they like what they are you know what the background is what their age group is what their uh, uh, demography is right so all these factors have different set of groups created and accordingly if a health expert comes in it would make sense to most of the users in that particular group or that specific target area that we have that is how we kind of filter and we kind of suggest users to you know uh, uh, get their uh, priorities their uh, you know uh, their demographies and whatever they are having in terms of their uh, past experiences or their issues sort out and then we suggest different various groups to actually join in that makes sense specifically to that particular user it's not like a very random thing that comes in for every user at a, any point of time so we so, try to sorry uh, we yeah. so we try to curate it in a way that like right now we are actually trying that where we can actually curate it for your need or the users need the individual users need uh, so we are trying out a lot of things because that uh, to find that right mix is very tough so we are trying our best to find that but i think going forward we will be able to do that yes so is it a subscription or a paid community so, or a club yeah, uh, so we started out you know to build this app and this platform to to be free for everybody and anybody who wants to start with their day 0 journey on health or maybe day 5 journey or like you know wherever he or she is he can just start and you know kind of associate with the club that we call it specifically and currently it's a, a, i mean we have just started out we we experiencing a lot of use cases and we are seeing a lot of users use the app in multiple different ways some of some of it makes sense to us some of it we don't want to you know end it up like a tiktok or another instagram that's why we've kept it on a waitlist right now but we are slowly opening it up but anyways the platform is going to be free uh, uh, forever you know, so the yeah. content the action items so uh, we call it three so there are three vitals for the app <coughs> which is one is its feed mechanism then there is the action center and then there is a reward center so we keep plan to keep this free throughout for all the users 
because we feel that lifestyle and health is something which is a right to every user they should have the right to write information they should have the right to so action and uh, the speed basically gives you that information for free so we don't want to basically charge anything for the user to do it so how do you eventually plan to monetize it so uh, we do have two three verticals that we have uh, so we currently we are actually doing a partner model where uh, we nudge the user for at the right steps to uh, let's say meet the user's requirement for example let's say if you want to start the journey of having or the habit of going to a gym uh, the prerequisite is that you should have a gym membership right now for example i have we have come across a lot of users uh, who go through this cycle they come on instagram and they try to uh, they try to basically see a lot of content on instagram and then their journey breaks like they it, instagram doesn't sell you uh, the current membership directly right so and they would have to go find out what locality they are in within their locality who which all other gyms which are available now what we try to do here is you don't have to leave the app we have tied tied up with various partners and gyms across hsr and other places in bangalore and you can come on the app uh, get inspired it can it i'm just being uh, giving an you an example of fitness or gym or maybe maybe the habit of going to the gym but there are other other facets where we we have partners there so uh, you can find the gym the gym uh, owners would actually list their packages uh, or their offerings as packages different different you if you take uh, multiple brands which are out there they will give you a monthly they will give you a quarterly they will half yearly and a yearly plan so the the same thing we also have on our platform and the users can avail it directly on our app so what happens is your interest is at the peak when your inspiration is high so we have we give them a seamless or a seamless platform where you can access our partner network who are related to the field of uh, let's say the uh, healthcare or the lifestyle field which you want to access to you will get access to them so we have tied up with a lot of partners not just in gyms we have tied up with various uh, dietary planners or air diet planners we have also tied up with a few diagnostic chains so we have done all these things so that you get access to the right people at the right time plus the right information so and we charge a commission from these partners so your monetization is b2b so yeah, uh, yeah i mean the platform is a b2b to c right where a user comes in he starts you know getting all the awareness information and the daily motivation that he requires he starts building habits right he starts to engage and sets a couple of goals and then we've got seamless access to all our partner network one of it is the gyms that we you know that's very common we've got uh, yoga centers uh, dance studios wellness diagnostics whatever is required for the user we kind of have it seamlessly integrated that that is what we call our local partners you know which is like physical centers where a user can uh, you know kind of go and uh, attend then we also have a seg segment of our premium partners which actually are all these different services companies ai products you know uh, ai services products fitness brands etc which are again seamlessly uh, integrated through the app right that is where we have like a, a major commissions coming in you know uh, uh, for example if i start with my fitness journey today like very uh, which is very prevalent in most of our young users so he starts to build basic habits he probably gets a gym subscription as well so we don't have a lot of uh, our commissions there but majority is something where you know i would require like a diet plan as well so why not get a, an ai diet planner integrated through the wallnut app just giving you then and there uh, diet plans and you know all, all sorts of suggestions and tips which is required on the go through the app itself so yeah i mean that is one of our key revenue streams that we've cracked right now uh moving ahead we've got like a couple of more which you know we can touch base uh, definitely yeah so why you, know, you have added club to your name uh, because club <coughs> is associated with a place where you go and meet like minded similar people yeah. and you kind of you know socialize you know with each other <coughs> so yeah i think uh, club is you know uh, uh, it it actually signifies that you know uh, health cannot be achieved i mean at least what we believe is that you know in order to build a sustainable healthy lifestyle and have like uh, uh, you know repeat repetitive habits on going for a couple of years down the line when a person is like you know just starting out with his career etc so we feel that socializing and and being bringing people together in a form of a club you know where they can associate share their daily updates in a social manner right share their issues help out each other right i mean 
that actually makes a lot of sense to a user who's you know uh, i mean every time you you would not need to go to a doctor you know every now and then but then if you have like a group or or, or a club that actually is you know somewhere you can kind of rely on on a daily basis right which you also want to give updates about share your success stories right and and you also are expecting probably your friends or your family members to kind of update their issues how they're progressing right that actually makes a lot of sense and if like you know it all derives from a lot of scientific uh, approaches scientific research that has been done it also derives from a lot of things that we are seeing on the offline space that is working out for example cult right uh, the whole format that we kind of see abstract is that you know it actually is uh, getting out in the form of a club though it is a physical space that people come into but that is what we are trying to you know kind of uh, derive a lot of example and a lot of inspiration from and bring it on online so yeah and adding to what manas has just uh, manas told so like what uh, health is always a community thing now uh, i i don't know how strong uh, people might agree with me here but let's say for example gym like the exam uh, which uh, manad gave when you go to the gym you are always uh, like what do you say push to do better than the person who is next to you there is it's kind of like a healthy competition that you keep on having every day when you are on when you are playing you always try with, with your friends also or with, within your family also you might want to play better than the person who is next to you it is not for the sake of beating them but it's just for the sake that okay i can do better now the health is also something where this is good we want you to do better people should do better so that health you get more healthier in the longer run you have changes in your lifestyle and then you t- tend to take steps which actually can lead you to have a better and a happier lifestyle so i have a different view here i think uh, you start your health journey when you you know when you go to the gym you feel that oh wow that person is you know going picking 10 kg is you're picking you know 5 kg is eventually in the longer run mm-hmm. it becomes better in your own self you know uh, th- that's what the real journey is that are you just getting healthier day by day rather so, whether someone is healthier or you know whether someone is more powerful or doesn't doesn't really matter eventually. it doesn't matter true yeah. it doesn't really matter but subconsciously you take that step to do better than the previous day yeah so it is not because like you might since you are also a person who is going who is into fitness right you would want to do better than what you did yesterday now that's a competition which you have kept for yourself uh, where maybe you you have internalized it and you are doing it but for someone people like who are just starting off right they don't have a base to start off they are just saying that ki theek i am better than today so that's fine but when you see people when you see the same thing happens with most of these offline centers and all these activity centers <coughs> you you have the that's why people go back to that every day and now because they get inspired not because of they what they are doing but they see people who are there and they are like you are these people this person is doing better than me i am 70 that person is also 70 and she or he or she is better than me he or she is doing better i should at least try to do what she is doing or he is doing that's what people internally would want that it's kind of like a social accountability factor that plays a role in this and no one wantedly does it but it's subconsciously imprinted into the human brain itself that ki you want to do better and when you see people do good you would always want to do better than them or you would always want to do uh, like one step or uh, maybe at least reach to their level you wouldn't look down on someone and say that hey yeah, that person is doing 10 i am i'm okay i'm doing 20 right now i wouldn't tomorrow i would not come back and say that hey i should do 10 yeah and anyways look i think uh, people who you surround with inspire you quite a bit so if you're just around healthy people where people are talking a lot of uh, you know things about health you may just start drawing inspirations from there too this also happens when you are in a community of people right not in a community when you know you are in a group of people who are actually in uh, inspire or like say uh, maybe uh, it's a peer community which talks about you have similar interests and these people will also have similar interests they would inspire you to do better than the person maybe we yesterday or today what is the vision that you guys have for uh, you know, <coughs> where do we see this in the next so year, yeah i think you know uh, uh, we started out like you know to just with a simple thing to you know build a healthier lifestyle for our users and empower also empower them with you know uh, and, and and they get their own health and uh, make them accountable for themselves right that is one of our you know key factors that is driving 
but the broader vision right in the next decade where walnut what walnut actually plays a role in the indian market as well as the global market as we see it is majorly two to three things right uh, the first one being you know uh, getting users to build a healthier lifestyle right uh, 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 be it personally be it along with their friends however they do it but they have to kind of you know get themselves to a to set benchmarks and kind of try to reach towards that goals you know uh, oh, and and it should not be like you know i do it for a month or a week it should be a repetitive thing that kind of uh, plays out in the next couple of years that is one uh, the second thing as we see it that you know people should be able to access healthcare uh, uh, be it gyms be it you know uh, 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 any sort of healthcare service that is coming up or there are a lot of startups already you know uh, deep diving into very specific areas in health tech right which is coming up i would say every month there are like 5 to 7 startups that i kind of uh, am aware about uh, focusing on probably women's uh, wellness right focusing on men's uh, uh, health you know so we want to build that technology that platform which gives seamless access to all sorts of different you know health tech services uh, providers etc and the third one being one of our key drivers is that once we have these users and we are able to understand them in a very uh, personalized and a uh, way and we've got like a lot lot of data and insights we want to build in uh, personalized ai solutions and give them optimized insurance plans so <clears throat> these are the three to four things that we are majorly focusing on which we feel that you know today's uh, users in india they need to have access seamlessly towards multiple services as well as they need to have a lot more personalized insurance plans which makes a lot of sense to them it it should be more affordable and it should be very personalized as well you know uh, for every specific user group so that is you know uh, what we are trying to build and uh, ho- i mean hopefully we kind of uh, make it global as well you know depending on the next few years how it kind of turns out for us to buy Mm-hmm. So uh, <clears throat> this is something we had actually dealt into a lot. Um, so what we see is that uh, there is a lot of awareness being created, uh, especially in the top strata of people. And uh, what we see is that uh, when people get access to more information, they tend to do a lot of things which is around their health. And all these hospitals and all these platforms which are out there they actually come at a very good cost for various companies so you take the major hospitals or the ma- major hospital chains across india they are really highly profitable now uh, and this main reason what we feel is that ki people are not interested they are not looking at preventive health they are looking at curative health so what happens is you are only looking at maybe uh, once you are coming down with a fever then you think of all let's say for example let's say you might come out with a special uh, may maybe a thing which can be prevented but you tend to not to look at it but then you come out you finally come out with a disease and then you have to cure that disease but the best practice here would be to basically prevent have preventive measures so that you don't have to take it and the 80% of india or 85% of india doesn't even look at preventive health care they are always focus on that oh, i would say that i would push myself to say that okay 90% india doesn't even bother about preventive health care it's just that they are always looking at okay we let uh, once a disease once you are affected by an or a uh, illness or a, a disease then you look at maybe curing that you don't look at preventing that and we i have personally gone through it like uh, uh, i was diagnosed with a fatty liver condition and it it is a preventive it can be prevented but my my lifestyle choices uh the information i believe mm-hmm. i would not say information because i never looked at any kind of information back then but the lifestyle choices i made resulted in me having that now i was fortunate enough that ki that could be uh, like solved or maybe i could be i can be cured because i never went into the severe stage uh and when i made right decisions about the kind of lifestyle i was making it kind of reflected in my health also so it's i think the major 
thing where you saying that the whole cough people are ready to pay when people are ready to pay for and if people are not taking any steps to reduce what they are actually coming out as diseases then obviously people companies are there they are profit companies who are trying to make a profit they are not uh, uh, for non profit companies right so uh, they would obviously try to build, uh, take a good chunk of the money which is there in the system That's the preventive side, right? That's the preventive side, which is, anyways, kind of uh, growing right now. Uh, we we see that trend also. Like we speak to a lot of people from all these bigger hospital chains, like Manipal and all those places, and we found out that people are taking action. But still, what happens is, eighty to ninety percent of India doesn't even bother about these kind of actions. Preventive health is still, like I would say, a long way away for for Indians. uh and uh, adding to what uh, manat was saying before like walnut stands to create that awareness about preventive health we want to create mm-hmm. an ecosystem where we can actually prevent a lot of things which can be prevented and we want to be that torch bearer for that for the <coughs> uh, next generation of people or even i would say for the current generation also So yeah, I mean, you know, uh, LinkedIn, right? I mean, the way it started for me is that you know it was like post COVID when I just went back to my college. Uh, that was my final year, final semester. I just started out with a couple of friends, you know, just to build a website, build a couple of groups on Discord and WhatsApp. That's how generally any tech startup actually verifies whatever the hypothesis is. You know, for a couple of months, I kind of did that. You know, uh, uh, I started off with the incubation center back in my college. uh that was like 6 to 8 months and i had just graduated as well but i chose to stay there uh i was in touch with danny since he was with his uh, uh previous venture just as a cold connect on him so not really a cold connect it Small was like we had uh, you know a couple of uh, short discussions about yeah. because uh, uh, <coughs> my previous uh, company which was into the travel and tourism space uh revolved around mobility and uh, when you take mobility mm-hmm. uh, and that too was on cycles and electric bikes which so, is like so the thing is like for me i was like a college student just coming out right not even fully graduated but then danny was into this startups startup ecosystem in the space since 7 to 8 years now for, for, uh, at that time uh, so he was more like you know uh, uh, i was just trying to get some help get some advice right that is where i kind of connected but then i moved into bangalore 6 to 8 months after that that was in 2023 uh that is where i mean we had been connected over linkedin had a couple of you know online meetings over various strategies and how to approach users what do you what does he think of the hypothesis but then moving into bangalore was the best part you know we I, I, like within a week i had met a couple of people i also met danny you know but after that i think in the first or the second meeting we had like a lot of similarities in broadly what we wanted to build and what what we wanted to kind of achieve and you know what we wanted to deliver to the user at the end I think which it was, was a product which was actually something which i am <coughs> the whole thing better because uh, when the product was something which uh, I, which interested me a lot back then in my pre when i was doing my previous venture also uh, ba- because of that i think i got exposed to a lot of these health related things because cycles and movement obviously you are uh, exposed to a lot of health related things and we tried to basically bring in some kind of health related things into a mobility sphere so that's when we this preventive and all these things came and i kind of got experience uh, kind of looked at a lot of data lo- looked at a lot of reports and analysis which could actually back this and then manat when manat can like we got so we started our discussion i found out that okay these theses which i started i kind of read back let's say at this stage or this day makes fits here so there is a a good feasibility uh, there you kind of have this uh, what do you say that uh, light or uh, what dream light moment where you say that you okay, i get this that you okay, this is something which i can also uh, relate myself to and especially with the health challenges and all those things i wanted to do something similar but i, I couldn't find the right person and then when manat and we got connected we were like okay fine this is like a dream group like let's start it any so, ex- sorry 
yeah so that's how that's how it worked out you know like we just met a couple of times and then it all made sense in terms of what we wanted to achieve the the product at the mvp that i had already built right so danny had a lot of experience i was re- also very excited you know i mean obviously i started out with a couple of friends but then having someone who's like you know already into that space would actually accelerate a lot of things so i mean yeah that's how it played out you know he's got the best strategies that you know we could implement and i was already implementing a couple of things so it kind of has taken the product the marketing you know the the strategies uh, uh and and very in a very cost effective and a very uh, you know uh, 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 a manner that is like we are getting organically we are getting users so that is where you know we kind of uh, our our skill sets and our you know uh, uh, they kind of complement right so i mean that's how we figure out in a couple of weeks itself that you know uh, let's do it together yeah so do you guys plan to go to shark tank so they to uh, you know raise money or uh, market so yourself? market I, uh, yes maybe market yes, <laughs> yes yeah. market yes maybe but no not sure but about then, the funding part i mean <laughs> yeah we, we have views on shark tank but anyways <laughs> let, let's skip that i guess <laughs> <laughs> personally not i'm not a big fan of that <laughs> so i would say marketing so, yeah. definitely yes marketing is something yes. i would definitely yeah. approach so at this stage you guys are bootstrapped right no so yeah. we've raised our funds since i start sorry i since i started right so back in college itself i got a few placement offers but then i also got angel funding so uh, since in college itself so since then i've been full time and we've raised a, a couple of from a couple of angels uh, and uh, yeah i mean we are currently Uh, uh, talk, raising yeah. our seed plus slash pre series a uh, it's a tough market i would say uh, uh, honestly but yeah uh, we are on track with all everything what is required you know in terms of our uh, traction our numbers our revenues our team product yeah so uh, so there is there's something that covers that gets covered online about entrepreneurs but there are a lot of experiences which probably doesn't So I think uh, the biggest one which I would want to share here is the uh, the data and the insights which we got from our users. So uh, I think when uh, I think this was last year. So uh, when we started uh, you opening the app, right? When people say so when we started onboarding people, uh, there was no direction. People were going and doing random things on the app. Now. Uh, we as the people who wanted to build this or the founders we were thinking that okay let if we could we could have taken two ways about it let them do the app we can uh, achieve the numbers that we want but then we thought that is that doesn't align with the kind of vision which we had for the company and for the product so we thought let's take a half stop here and then maybe talk to our users what they want and uh, we went back to the drawing board we spoke to uh, our initial set of users they gave us a lot of information now uh, that is something which is very crucial and i think that that is something which i don't think would have happened in the first stage or the first year of building the product and uh, that was really helpful for us and uh, the we were able to make drastic changes in the product uh, and we had to take some hard calls where we could, we had to put like 40000 people on our wait list because people were coming in they wanted to use uh, the the app in their own way but we never wanted them to do it so we had to put a hard stop for or to these people and uh, i think our wait list have grown to around 40 45000 or something in that span uh, but we had to choose between our product and the vision or the 30 40000 people who were coming in so we that's one of the biggest mm-hmm. learnings that we did that uh, you should stick to your vision or whether you should open up your app to people to basically meet certain criteria which are required what Sorry. yeah uh, you know just to just that question itself right so i mean uh, once i started right there were a lot of uh, things that you know people spoke you know in terms of the funding the, the team that actually matters so a lot of those perspectives are really changed you know uh, we need to first of all build a solid team right and honestly team keeps evolving right the members also would kind of come and go right uh, so Uh, you know over time i've kind of realized that getting the right people on board and you know uh, the right people honestly their degrees right their experiences uh, a lot of things do not matter you know uh, at the end it's just the vision and and the 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 whole team environment and the how, how the work is actually that matters 
to get the right fit to that uh, to to the particular startup uh, at that point and the second part is that you know uh, uh, there's a lot of buzz around getting funds you know from angels or from vcs right so a lot of things have changed for me at that space uh, as well you know uh, uh, we cannot approach funds so funds are like very readily available that is something which we all are very sure of but then uh, since the last 2 years it has evolved in such a way that you know uh, you need to get the right metrics you need to have this you know the best business plan possible right which has to be you know innovative as as well and that has to very well align with your product and the problem that you're solving so if all of that is very well aligned i think i mean we're getting a lot of investor interest right so but then 6 months earlier right it was kind of the similar thing but then it was not very aligned and not very well connected right so a lot of disconnects in terms yeah. of what they so want that has kind of evolved you know uh, 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 i would not say that you know funds are like it's not scarce or anything right the funding winter is probably for like series a post startups for pre series a or series a at least till there it's it's all available but then you know uh, investors right now are looking for a lot of you know validation for a lot of numbers and basically the the whole uh, you know business plan has to be very well connected and it has to make a lot of sense so that is with what you know we we've kind of re- uh, realized in the last one year i guess <coughs> so if a if a junior from your college comes who wants to kind of you know start up with the experience that you have had up mm-hmm. you know till date uh, what what advice would you give him uh so f- for my college person who who like yeah junior. anyone who comes yeah uh, i mean you know it, it's all about you know executing and it's all about uh, uh getting started day one right uh, nothing really comes uh, uh i mean there's no particular uh, sort of a experience or so, some a particular day that actually would define that you know okay i'm i'm well prepared to start right now you know it it's all about execution failing and then re- trying again right uh, only that's how i believe of an entrepreneur actually learns it's all practical experience it's all connecting and networking and talking to a lot of people you know a probably a thousand users i would say and the best way to avoid certain you know roadblocks etc is to get people who have already been through that you know journey so that actually would play the most important role apart from that i i guess you know for a founder you know a, a basic skill set around communication basic skill set around product and you know how to actually get a real problem and and get the uh, market uh, gap uh, to identify that particular gap and also time yourself correctly in a very specific industry so i mean you know uh, last year it was a lot of gen ai uh, uh, you know uh, hype right so i feel it it's it was kind of a really good time so you you've got to time yourself according to the market as well so these couple of things really matter yeah i mean <coughs> so uh, so i think uh, i i would love to be part of your community so i'll i'll add myself you know on the <laughs> no wait problem. list and, yes. you know wait for the <laughs> wait list to uh, you know get over no i think we have uh, reopened the complete app it's not on wait list any longer so uh, we that's what i told we needed some direction to people yeah. where users could uh, have that direction on the app so we were we built some features which could actually give users those direction now the app is open for the users to basically download and use so uh, any last message that you have for the audience <coughs> so i would say uh, users or uh, india is a very big country and you know that there is uh, a lot of challenges around health and lifestyle so take the right decision take the right information do the right action and then maybe you would have a better lifestyle than in the future and there's a lot of potential which is happening across india like in terms of products and services which is around health and lifestyle that's something which i think should people should have access to <coughs> do better and you'll be able to maybe have a very good life yeah so for me i i guess uh, uh, you know every particular individual should start uh you know with a healthy approach towards their professional life their professional career uh, probably from the age of 23 24 that's how you know we see india actually developing into a much healthier nation obviously we are progressing in terms of a lot in terms of our uh, economy our you know uh, uh, infrastructure etc but the you know health is also something which really matters a lot uh, you know that is how uh, we see it in the next decade and uh, <coughs> starting out early and kind of uh, 
keeping a track of what actually you kind of consume what habits that you build on a daily uh, uh, you know daily basis actually matters and that is where we are also trying to you know put a, put in our 18 hours a day and you know build for uh, the indian uh, user and uh, we hope that you know uh, we could be of uh, uh, some or the other use for uh, every user out there and we could make a positive impact in the change so yeah <coughs> we wish you all the best uh, you, you know in this uh, journey i'll i'll keep following you guys uh, as a user uh, you know from now on it was great having you guys thank you thank <coughs> you for your time you are welcome thank, thank you. you thank you thank for you. having us